Good morning, this is my top 5 Traxxas Fortec 2.0 Lips and Dislokes video. I say Traxxas Fortec 2.0, this is the, the VXL version, but my number one like about the Fortec 2.0 is its versatility level of entry points. Uh, you can pay just over $225 for a chassis only brushed version of this. Comes complete with all the electrics, no battery or body. You can get this VXL version, this is slightly modified, so we'll go on to it in a minute. You can get a VXL version with a Galenium motor, which out of the box, I got this thing to do 73 miles an hour. So that kept for $375 on that. Just over $300 gets you that gorgeous Ford GT uh, must, uh, body on it, for just under 300 bucks. Uh, you get the Ford Mustang body included on that. Both of those, the ones with the body, are the brush version, not the VXL version. But what I like about the car is that the, the version at $225 chassis only, you can pick your own body, uh, you can subsequently go on to modify that as time, money and budget allows and push it up to 70 miles an hour or higher. So the one thing I love about this car is its versatility. I mean, this thing is dripping with mods. That is uh, one of the things that I w love about it is there are so many mods out there that actually work uh, for the car and I'll go on to talk about those in just a minute. So that's my number one point is actually the versatility of this platform. You can start out mild and go through to absolutely wild with this car. Um, I hate to think of how much money I've piled into this, but I've just done it a bit at a time. Uh, just as mods of knee thought, oh, does that need doing? Does this need tweaking? Uh, looked on Facebook, which is a mind of people out there, uh, out there to help you with this car. If you want to get a good, fast road car, uh, look no further than this. People do rubbish tractors, yeah, it's maybe not the best thing for racing, but you want a good, fast road basher, this is a, a go to, my, this is my go to machine. Anyway, I'm going to get the camera off the tripod. Let's have a close up look at exactly what the other four points are. Point number two that I really like about the car is the adjustable body post. Sounds silly, doesn't it? I've got adjustable body posts on my car, haven't I, Rich? These can move up and down, front and rear. They can also move backwards and forwards, and they can move in and out. Any 200 millimeter body will fit this car. To give you an example of some of the ones that I've got fitted, this is my uh, common, the one that I use from day to day on there, 200 mil body. This pickup truck, yes, this pickup truck body can be made to fit this car by adjusting the body pillars. Great deal of versatility on this thing. And this is my new speed run body, which requires the pillars to be dropped right down at the front. A little bit of adjustment requires to make this one fit, but nonetheless, you can adjust it to fit on there. So, high level of versatility built into this car. So if you've got an old 200 millimeter body lying around, uh, like that Aston Martin one that, I, that I've kept for ages, that I just loved, and only one day I'll have the car to fit it to, this is the car I now fit it to on that. So that's a great deal of versatility that it gives you. So that's my number two feature on there. Everybody might be thinking, well, what the hell? But look at those three different, completely different body styles on there. And uh, think about that one there, guys. The one thing I would say, before I move on to point number three briefly, is if you like this video, if you like this kind of format, then please do consider subscribing uh, for many more great RC videos to come this summer. Anyway, let's move on to point number three. When it comes to point number three of things I like and dislike about the Traxxas Fortec 2.0, VXL, it's tyres. Uh, the stock tyres are pretty good with the uh, stock Valenian motor on here. You can really floor it uh, and get the power down uh, without too much worry in anything other than very, very wet conditions. These rubber tyres give a pretty darn good amount of grip. The one thing I would say is if you cut one or there's any next one, no problem. Uh, they're not particularly cheap um, to replace them. So while the stock tyres are pretty good with the stock Valenian motor, if you up the power game, as I've done here with the Castle Creations 5700 kV brushless motor, you're going to need some serious tyres on the back end to lay that power down. I've gone for 45mm foams. In order to fit those without fouling, you're going to need to fit an 8 or 9mm or bigger uh, hex inside the car in order to push the wheels out. Otherwise, the foams will foul on the inside air and rip big chunks out of your new foam tyres. But with these tyres on, you can give the thing full throttle on 5700kV. I've even nailed it so far on 4S. Been doing a few shakedown runs on 6S. I know people are thinking 6S rich, but um, anyway, different story. So, 
the tyres are something that I give the car a great deal of versatility. You can have great fun. One of some of the most fun I've had is I bought these drift tyres on Amazon for just under 10 bucks. And that it's more fun than you can shake a stick at. And the brushless motor stays perfectly cool because the revs, everything's revving really high, but it's really not going to do a lot of work. With the TSM, you can have like a drift gyro effect. Speaking of TSM, let's go on to point, talk about point number four, which is the radio. Okay, point number four. I wouldn't exactly call it a like or a dislike. Well, I do like it. It's the fact that the transmitter on the VXL version uh, comes with the TSM setup, which means you can dial it around and put the those drift tires on there and the TSM will act very much like a drift gyro. So you can have great fun drifting the car with drift tires on there. But the stock car, the non-VXL version, doesn't come with the TSM. If you up the power, again and you fit a brushless motor this thing you really do want to consider fitting the TSM on there uh, especially when you can fit the Bluetooth module in the back of the transmitter that then enables you to use the Traxxas app on your phone which you can set pretty much every parameter on the car in terms of braking uh, the, the punch level that the car has got because one thing with, with the stock tyres if you if you go and fit one of these castle brushless motors to the thing and you've got the stock rubber on there um, the thing will light the back tyres up and the back end will wiggle around like crazy you'll find yourself going into high speed things without, uh, without the foam tyres on hence the foam tyres on my car but the use of the app on the transmitter um, via that Bluetooth module really will transform the handling of this car so that TSM feature with the Bluetooth module and app is one thing that I really do like um, I maybe don't like the fact that the stock car uh, the non-VXL car doesn't come with that bearing in mind that most people that buy it are eventually going to modify the thing to a much higher brushless spec in there so my uh, advice to anyone buying it is go for the VXL version as much as anything you're getting that gorgeous Valenian motor 73 miles an hour plus out of the box uh, plus you're getting that TSM feature on there not everybody likes TSM I am a big fan of it in conjunction with the app. Put the TSM in conjunction with the app and you absolutely transform the handling of the uh, Traxxas Fortec 2.0. Okay, point number five that I like and dislike about the Traxxas Fortec 2.0 VXL or any Traxxas Fortec 2.0 that is for that matter is the amount of mods you can do to the thing is simply phenomenal. Um, the cost of them, however, may put you off. I would say that's not a a, a dislike if you like but it's something more to be aware of on there this thing is simply dripping uh, with parts lots of GPM racing parts on there uh, lots of hot racing bits fitted on there keeping me in I fed on there is the Castle 5700 kV brushless motor and the Mamba X setup um, the ESC the motor will take up to 3S the ESC will take up to 6S I've been running the thing on 4S and it will run all day long on 4S um, so that is a, a, a mod you want to definitely want to consider. But overall, I love the, way, the fact that there's so many things out there that you can buy and fiddle with and tweak on the car. Um, great ones that I would recommend is this GPM brace at the rear end, which stops it shaking under power. And that really does enable you to deploy the full power of the brushless system. Because as you up the speed gain on your, um, your Fortec 2.0, you will find it can start to shake violently uh, at the back and spin out as uh, a lot of people in the early days saw fitting this uh, brushless motor setup to the non um, VXL version of the car. But all this bracing does help everything keep it on the straight and narrow on there. So I love that versatility uh, of the mod. So that is one of my main likes, the little bits that you can fiddle with late at night and buy online and tweak. And they do make a heck of a difference uh, to the car. And my, my favourite mod of all, probably besides the Mamba X setup, is this rear brace. This has made a tremendous difference to the handling of the uh, car. I'll put a link to all these parts uh, below the video uh, if people need them on there. And there you can see my success setup on there. So, there we have it guys. That's my Traxxas Fortec 2.0. Uh, likes and dislikes, if you like. As I said, there's a lot to like about this car. And I hope I've got my passion for it across uh, in this video. You can spend astronomic amounts of money. I hate to even think of how much all this lot has cost. But I've gradually built the speed up, which is the one thing I would advise with a car like this. Don't go out and fit all this stuff to start with, because this has probably got 90 miles an hour plus in it. If you ain't used to doing that kind of speed, it's going to end in tears. Uh, I've had some very near misses uh, with this thing. I'm very careful in choosing the venue. I choose the venue with no curbs at the side, as an example. Something to, anyway. I hope this video has given you food for thought on the Traxxas Fortec 2.0 VXL. Um, 
or the M Trucks' full tech 2.0 in the range. As I say, the one thing I love about this car is its versatility. I love the fact that you can buy it with that gorgeous Ford GT uh, body um, on there. And I love the fact that you can buy a base version of this car, chassis only, which you can again go and choose your own body for, and then you can gradually uh, add on hot modified bits as your time and your budget allows. Anyway, if you did find this video useful, then uh, please do consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to 